Item number SCP-619-J Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-619-J is to be kept in a steel 0.76 meters by 0.15 meters by 0.15 meter case at all times. The case is to be kept in the research chamber at site beep unless otherwise noted by personnel with overseer level clearance. Even under these circumstances, the skip must be kept in its case at all times. Removal of the object from its case will result in disciplinary actions. Should the object be removed from its case and worn by a human being, the wearer will be subdued and separated from SCP-619-J. Any D-class subjects wearing the skip may be subdued by lethal force. Description SCP-619-J appears to be a championship belt as worn by wrestlers in the Beep League. The belt is approximately 0.75 meters long when not worn. When a humanoid being attempts to put the belt on, SCP-619-J adjusts its size to one that would best fit the subject. The crest at the front of the belt is constructed of a plastic made to look like solid gold. The crest is emblazoned with ornate patterns and the words Beep Championship. When worn by a human, the wearer will undergo a personality change. Subject will become increasingly violent when presented with even the slightest grievances. Subject will become boisterous and aggressive, often developing incredible overconfidence in their strength. Despite this, wearing SCP-619-J does not seem to cause any physical changes. All physical prowess exists only in the wearer's mind. Addendum 619-J1 The circumstances of SCP-619-J's acquisition follow below. Acquisition SCP-619-J was retrieved on Beep 19 Beep from one Mr. Andre Beep. There have been reports of several attacks by what appears to be a supernatural creature around the area that Mr. Beep lived. While the operators deployed had at first only meant it to question Mr. Beep. They were soon forced to subdue him when it was discovered that the subject, while wearing SCP-619-J, attacked him. The subject admitted to having been a customer of Marshall, Carter, and Doc, and was behind a strange series of attacks. When he discovered that SCP-619-J had been taken from him, the subject expressed relief, claiming that the damn thing got annoying after a while. Addendum 619-J2 The following is an excerpt from an interview from Dr. McCallum and D. Beep regarding SCP-619-J. Interviewed, D. Beep. Interviewer, Dr. McCallum. Forward. I hope to find out exactly what effects, if any, this skip has on the human mind. Assisting me, D. Beep will be asked to wear SCP-619-J partway through our interview. Dr. McCallum. Begin log. This is my first experiment to determine the effects that SCP-619-J has on a human psyche. Assisting me is D-Beep. Wait, what? This isn't what we agreed to! Oh, how do you feel? You didn't say you were going to experiment on me! I ask again, how do you feel? I feel fine. I don't have glass in my eyes. Excellent. Now let's begin. Alright, this time with the belt on. How do you feel? I have the blood of the warriors pulsing through my veins. The incest spirit of my four warriors fills me with destructivity. <sighs> hmm, interesting. Tell me, what do you see? I see the screams of a thousand normals. Now you must deal with all unpleasantries. Wait, me? I will break your spine until your children are in pain. That doesn't even make... And log. Closing statement. After being separated from SCP-619-J, Deep Beep claimed to have been under the illusion that he was standing in a listening ring surrounded by a cheering audience. Dr. McCallum has put through a request for Deep Beep to be terminated. Request denied. Don't be a jerk just because a guy put you in a half Nelson. Oh, five feet. It was a full now, so followed by a submission note. Honestly, I think termination is completely called for. 
Dr. McCann. Addendum 619J03. Incident. Skips involved. SCP-619-J. Able. SCP-Beep. Personnel involved. D-7706. Date. Beep. Location. Beep. Description. During an attempted escape by SCP-Beep, D-7706 somehow came into possession of SCP-619-J. After attacking other D-Class personnel, Abel, who had been helping during the crisis, stepped in. After a kick to the head, D-7706 was easily beaten. However, after his defeat, it was seen to remove the belt from D-7706's body and place it around his waist. Abel then went on a rampage, killing numerous officers before the device around his neck was detonated. When questioned later, Abel claimed that he had built a compulsion with SCP-619-J after defeating D-7706. SCP-619-J is currently being tested for medic properties. I saw Abel with a belt on. He was even more unbeatable, if that's possible. And no, I could not smell what he was cooking, whatever that means. Agent Beep. Addendum 619-J4. After Dr. McCallum was seen running around the facility in a chicken suit, it was discovered he had stolen SCP-619-J for his own purpose. He was quickly subdued. The doctor had this to say about his actions. Punish me all you want. I finally see that cafeteria worker who never gives me flan. Dr. McCallum was quickly informed that the cafeteria does not carry flan. Addendum 619-J5 Several agents have made an attempt to steal SCP-619-J and force D-Class personnel to wear it before throwing them into SCP-682's holdings area. They were harshly disciplined and they drew expunged. This was hilarious the first time, guys, and the second, and the third. And it's stopping funny around the summertime. Get some new material. 05 beep.